Edit, want to make dreams come true? Yeah! Let's push the button. They make us wanna oh, 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 oh. Which member of our crazy Dream Factory audience will get to meet JLS? It's all aboard the Dream Factory Express for this young train enthusiast. Stand by for takeoff as this young helicopter fan goes on patrol with the Irish Coast Guard. Plus, there's comic strip chaos as we take on Dennis the Menace in the Beano. Dream Factory? Yeah. Sit down. I know you're a huge Jethead fan, but we know that you like another group also. Who are they? Taylor. Watch <laughs> this. Hi, Ella. Hi, Ella. Ella. We have heard that you are a massive fan of the four of us. How amazing would it be for us to meet you and you to meet us? Well, we're going to make that happen at one of our gigs because we desperately want to meet you. We're going to see you real soon, Ella. Loads of love. Mwah. You're a massive fan of JLS and you're a massive fan of Jerry, but who do you like more? Uh, JLS. <gasps> <gasps> who do you guys like more? Yeah! Well, who do you guys like more? Yeah! Well, seeing as you like JLS so much, okay, let's have a JLS dance. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> I'm waiting for JLS and I can't wait now. I think they're in the building somewhere. <laughs> I'm nervous and excited at the same time. Hi Ella. Hi. How are you? Good. Are you okay? <laughs> Hi Ella. Hi. How are you? You look okay. like a superstar. Mm -hmm. See you. It's lovely to hey, meet you. Is that for us? Oh. Yes. Yeah, oh, oh, thank, thank you. It's a birthday card. Thank you, babe. Thank you. It's my first birthday card. <laughs> thank you. I'm quite nervous, but I kind of just said this would be the once in a lifetime that is this going to happen. So I just thought it was just like my friends sitting down with me. It's been my dreams to meet you. Do you still have any dreams yet to come true? You know, you've always got to make sure that you keep setting goals in life. You know, and even when you achieve the ones that you always wanted to achieve, there's always more to achieve. You've formed all over the world. Do you like playing in Ireland? Especially? Love playing in Ireland. The crowd always go crazy. Yes. They're a lot louder. <laughs> yes. A lot louder than any other audience. Is it better to be louder than quieter? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Since Marvin's a married man, has there any difference with him? Or is he getting more annoying or is he getting less annoying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you pointed that out because I have noticed a difference. <laughs> he has become more annoying. <laughs> uh, <that play>? no. <laughs> I got to see Marvin's wedding ring. Do you have your wedding ring on? Yeah, of course. Oh, you noticed that quick. <laughs> Lovely. <You like> it. <laughs> it's like silver and has like little diamonds, I think. And it was lovely. It was really pretty. What's the best thing about being in JLS? this interview right now <laughs> with you. Michelle. Thank you. Jed would ask us to give you your very own <laughs> OMG badge. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you get this <laughs> as you were such an amazing interviewer. Thank you. Yeah, that's <laughs> very much. Really good. Well done. Yeah. 
I woke up today and who would have thought that I would actually meet JLS and interview them? That was really good. Oh my <laughs> darling, you did really well. Thank you. Did amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Shedder for making my dream come true. It's been an awesome day. Thank you. Shane Doherty was mad, mad, mad about trains. He wrote and said, hey, Jedward, I have loved trains ever since I can remember, and my dream will be to one day drive one. Please make my dream come true. Well, all aboard, driver Shane. You've got your ticket to dream. Choo -choo. My name is Shane. I am seven years old, and my dream is to drive a train. I walked into a train museum, and I was very excited. Hello, Shane. Then Alfie surprised me. Are you Shane Doherty? Yes. My name is Alfie. He gave me this ticket. He said, you're going to be able to drive a train today. Are you excited? Yes. I felt super excited. I had never driven a train before. This is going to be my first time. I think I might be the youngest train driver in Ireland. I got my first train when I was one. I love old trains. I just love the way they sound. <laughs> and the way they look. Uh, you're very welcome. I arrived at Strad Valley and there was a lovely steam train waiting there for me. Now, Shane, you're going to be my assistant for the day. It's very dirty work and you go get changed and I'll see you back here. Alfie made me put on overalls because it's a really messy job. <laughs> Hi, Shane. My name's Dick. I'm the man who inspects the track. I got to inspect the track to make sure all the bolts are tight. A bit low, so we'll tighten that a bit. A good port now, that's a good port, that's it. One man, lovely. Lovely job. That's it. It's important to make sure that tight and that the train could derail. You happy with the track, you are? Yeah. Good man. Roll up your sleeves and get some coal into the bucket for me, please. You have to bring some coal to the steam train. The steam engine needs coal to go. Before you move, you have to check your water levels. You open it up, close it, and you see the level coming back up? Yeah. Now close it, good man. And there's the levels. And this is your whistle. Yeah. We've no carriages, look. We have to go up and get the carriages, all right? Yeah. Lovely. Roll up, roll up for the train. I was using an organ to round up the crowd. I really enjoy being the ticket inspector. How many tickets? There are two adults and three children. Four, please. Mm -hmm. Is this your family coming up, Shane? Yes. Well, since you're the boss, you can let them on for free today. I had to signal to the driver that the train was all ready to go. When I set off, I was very excited. I pulled the train and the whistle went off. Ah, ah! Say so you're grand. Take it over the train, you think you want to keep on coming back now, you ah! When we were coming to a hill, we ran out of steam, so we had to wait for the steam to go back up. We're waiting for pressure to rise or get up the hill ahead of us. We try it now. Ah, ah! He has turned out to be a really rare find, a genuine railway enthusiast, and it was a pleasure to work with him. I did have a lot of fun. It's very messy work, so sure, look at me face. My dream has come true. This is the best day of my life. Thank you, Jedward, for making my dream come true. Was that okay? Did you come to the Dream Factory on a train? No. Did you come in a car? Yeah. Like, what was it actually like being in a real life size train? Hot. Really hot? Yeah. Like super, super hot? Yeah. You have like toy trains at home, don't you? Yeah. What was it actually like to be in a real life train compared to actually playing with little tiny trains? Way better. And like, do you like the sounds they make? Yeah. What sounds do they make? Choo choo. What sounds do they make? Choo choo. 
Well, Shane, okay, one more thing you need before you go is an OMG Jet with Dream Factory badge. Here you go. Okay, let's try it. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Coming up after the break, our most spectacular dream yet was the Irish Coast Guard sent a new recruit out on a mission with Shannon Search and Rescue. Plus, there are pranks aplenty as Dennis the Menace finally meets his match, Jedward! when it comes to us making dreams come true. And that's exactly where we're sending our next dreamer. <laughs> Ten-year-old Leisha Regan emailed us to say, every day I see the Shannon Search and Rescue helicopter flyer of my house. It even came to my school once. It is jepic. I would love to work with them. It would be my dream come true. Love, Leisha Regan. Well, we thought her dream was jepic too. So we arranged for Shannon Search and Rescue to fly to surprise her. My name is Leisha Regan, I'm nine years old. I live in Shannon, County Clare, and my dream is to ride the Shannon Rescue Helicopter. My name is Captain Sean Murphy, duty captain with the Session Rescue Coast Guard Helicopter in Shannon today. I heard a knock at the door and I thought it was my friends coming to call for me. Hello, Jedward had asked me to make your dream come through. Oh my God, Mom! <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I was speechless. We have a flying suit here, so maybe if you could put it on, yeah. hopefully it'll fit you, <laughs> and you'll be one of our crew for the day. They showed us the operations room. Our area of operation would be from Cork around the coast to Galway. If anything happens there, we are primary search and rescue helicopter cool. to respond, okay? Yeah. Then we went out to the helicopter and it was really exciting. The hangar. <laughs> The winchman's name is Philip and he showed me around the aircraft. I sit down here with my harness on, mm. with the hook. <laughs> Paul, our winch operator, stands up here then and he's the guy that's going to sit me up and down. <laughs> yeah, so you'd like to do this? Yep. I don't know why, but I just love seeing the ground move without having to walk. <laughs> There's a ramp in the back that you can wheel stretchers on. You can track their pulse, their heart rate. They have a life support machine which basically breeds for you if you can't breed yourself. It's basically like an ambulance, but I can fly. <laughs> in you hop. Okay. <laughs> John sat me into the pilot seat and he showed me all the buttons and how they work. You can see we have the screens. The one on either side are your primary flying displays. You had to flick loads of switches on the roof and loads of buttons press on the floor. It was really confusing. We had to get organised in the operations room. Excellent. Now, this is our weather. So weather's good, guys, for the, for the training flight. The flight plan is in. We support air traffic control and they're happy. And then it was time to get onto the helicopter. When we started to take off, it was bumpy, but then it got smoother. And we saw schools and castles and loads of houses. In Loophead, there was a lighthouse and we flew around it. We passed the cliffs of Moher. They opened the door. It was amazing. I mean, you could see everything really clearly. There was tourists and we started raving at them and it was really funny. We went to see the captain in flight and he showed me how high we were and what temperature it was outside. He moved the helicopter side to side and up and down and my stomach went up and then it went down. It was really cool and creepy at the same time. They did a training exercise with the winchman. They hovered, he was winched down, and they put the harness around the casualty and lifted her up. My role was to be a winch woman. <laughs> I helped the winch operator and the winchman. Being a full member of the crew was really cool. Uh, just a little memento of your day with us here Thank in you. Shannon. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. It was the best day of my life ever. My dream definitely has come true. <laughs> Thanks, Jedward, for making my dream come true.
I see you're wearing your cool OMG jumper. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Leash, I'm actually so excited because it looked amazing. How high were you? Uh, 3,000 feet. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> when it came to your school, like, did you ever think that you were going to be inside of it? When it came to my school, we weren't allowed to touch it, and I got to fly in it, so it was really cool. So are all your friends like, oh my god, I want to be on that, and you're like, been there, done that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and Eric have been in a helicopter twice, but we'd never ever opened the door. Why, well, you're not scared of, like, falling out of the helicopter? Um, no, we were, like, strapped in, and the guy beside me, he was strapped onto a ropey thing, so... If I was strapped in still, I'd still be scared. I'd be like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, this is so scary, okay. <laughs> When you get older, okay, do you want to work with helicopters and do what they were doing? Now that I've like learned how they do it, I really want to do it more. <laughs> so you're not going to be getting a driving license, you're going to be getting a helicopter <laughs> flying license. Yeah. But me and Ed, I think you need one more thing. An OMG bag! <laughs> OMG, Chadward, I totally love drawing and comic books. My dream is to create my own comic strip, and it would be totally double jepic if you guys could be in it too also. So we had to call up our cool friend, Dennis, Dennis the Menace, Menace, at the Beano to see if he could help us make your artistic ambitions come, come true. true. My mum and dad gave me a letter, and I didn't know what it was for a sec. So pack your bags, we're off to visit Dennis the Menace in Scotland. And I was so surprised. <laughs> I like the Beano. I love drawing. If you don't see me doing nothing else, I'm drawing. And hopefully get into it more when I grow up. So you are having to enjoy your flights? Thank you very much. Thanks. It's just amazing. But I'm looking forward to it. This is the best day of my life. Hi, David. How are you? Welcome to the Beano. Are you ready to start menacing? Yeah. Great. Well, let's get started. Come on. This is where every single Beano that's ever been made is kept. We've seen the first ever Beano. first ever Beano's worth 16,000 euro. I was amazed to see it. Look at the date, 1938. It's even older than your dad. There was a character called Big Ego the Ostrich. There was the ostrich and a load of other fellas that you wouldn't see today. And then we seen the first ever Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace first appeared in the Beano in March. 1951. It's a lot more different than today. Totally. The only thing that's the same really is, is hair in his face. This is where the editor of the Beano arranges to get the Beano out to guys like you. And we've got a bit of a problem. We're four pages short and we've got to get them by 2pm. Have you got any ideas? Maybe it's Dennis and Jed we could have a deal saying who could have the tallest hair by the end of the week. Ha 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 that's brilliant. Yeah. We will go and pitch this idea at the Beano editorial meeting, right? Comics are a serious business. You have to be 100% focused to get things right. There's no messing around. Guys! What are you doing? David, I think it's time for you to take over and give these slackers some good ideas. What would Dennis do to Jedward's hair? Yeah, it's cottage and dye it blue. Dye it blue! Give them a new hairstyle! Tremendous! A lot of people thought it, the idea was brilliant. Hopefully Jedward thinks the same. It sounds absolutely fantastic. You can't believe your ears, can you, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I met this fella called Kirk. Do you recognise these two? Jedward. It's Jedward. This is how it starts initially. I'll do a wee pencil rough. We take over to the scanner and magically it'll appear on our computer screen. And he showed me all about how to draw on this computer. Hey, presto, you have here, as if by magic. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> That's brilliant. We had to put in speech bubbles and make up lines for Jedward to say, ha ha, Dennis, we bet you who's the loser now. I think that sounds brilliant. We sent the last four pages off to the editors and they put it into the bean up. Yeah, that's a fun way. says he couldn't wait to meet the new menace that's come to join his gang. Yeah! <laughs> Dennis came in and gave me some prank equipment. It was funny, and I knew straight away we were going to be pranking people, and I was really excited. Can I take a picture? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing pranks because it annoys my brothers and sometimes my cousins and my mum. The whole day was amazing. It meant so much to me. I'd love to be those people down there one day creating comics. Thanks, Jared, for making my dream come true. Like, seriously, 
What's the smell? It wasn't me, Editor K. Ugh, stinky. Whoever said, whoever dealt it. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, that's it. What was the best part of the day? When I started pulling pranks and made the comic with you and I in it. The whole comic strip idea that you came up with, like, whose hair was the tallest. Do you want to measure our hair right now? All right. Who wants to measure Jared's hair? <laughs> Let's do this. Measure this piece right here. It's around 13 centimeters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now measure John's hair. Measure my hair, see who's the biggest. <laughs> Just about 14 centimeters. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Okay. Let's check your hair. Um, your hair's about two and a half. <laughs> So you got a lot to grow your hair. Yeah. <laughs> Think how cool it is, okay? We're like in the issue right now this Christmas. Like the and that's main all because issue. of you. Have you seen it? No. Well, here it is. <laughs> there's Arlen, there's John Edward, and there's you. And look, there's us with all our cool jetty bears. <laughs> that is so amazing. I never thought it'd come true. What's your favorite part of the comic strip? This bit here. The three of us, the ultra team. <laughs> We've got one more last thing to give you. An OMG Jedward's Dream Factory badge! Yeah! Here you go. We're so proud of you. John, making dreams is the best dream job ever! I know, Editor. I can't wait to do it all again. But until then, keep dreaming! Next time in the Dream Factory. The Wexford All-Stars make it a day to remember for this crazy Komogi fan. We've got a really wild dream as a budding photographer frames up on nature. It's flames, cranes, and automobiles for Dublin Fire Brigade's new recruit. Plus, this young MC will be rapping to the nation when we make his dream come true. OMG!